I found a mouse nest in this piano while I was working on it today. So when I first got to the appointment, I noticed the piano was really dusty. So I asked the owner about it and she said it was so dirty because they recently got this piano for free out of someone's basement. And right away, that's a pretty big red flag because most free pianos are in rough condition, but if it came out of somebody's basement and they never played it, it's probably in really rough shape. And sure enough, as I was taking it apart, I saw some mouse droppings in the corner. So before I continued doing any more work, I made sure to call the customer and say, hey, I know you guys just got this piano, but it looks like some mice got to the inside of it and it's in pretty rough condition. And I even recommended that they just don't get the piano tuned or cleaned and just save up for a newer piano. But the owner said, no worries, just go ahead and continue with the cleaning. We don't really play it all that often, so we just want it playable for now. So I got started with the cleaning and something super important to know is that if you are ever vacuuming up mice, droppings, it's really important to use what's called a HEPA filter on a vacuum cleaner because mice droppings can carry a lot of diseases and stuff like that and you very easily can end up dying or uh, not living. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering by now, this is definitely not the worst mouse nest that I've seen. I'd hesitate to even call this one a nest at all. A lot of times the mice will chew up stuff from the rest of the piano and jam it underneath the keys and make little tunnels and it's impossible to play. So if I find a piano like that, I'll probably make another video like this in the future. But for now, I'm just gonna clean out the bottom of the piano. And I'm not really sure why mice love to hang out on pianos so much, but if a piano isn't played that often, it's actually really common to find some sign that a mouse has been there. If you guys want a pro tip for preventing mice, and this works in your pantry as well as in your piano. Mice absolutely hate peppermint oil. I'm not sure if it's the smell that they hate, but if you grab a plastic cup and drop some peppermint oil in the bottom, they will completely stay away from that spot. Plus you don't have to deal with poison and all of that stuff. And after I sanitized the keys with some non-alcoholic baby wipes and made sure to wash my hands really, really well, I went ahead with the tuning and here's the before and after. Mm -hmm. 